So this is beginning of uh, module two, part D, A, B, C, D, uh, which is where we left off. I hope you got your textures in there and your asset files with it. So I, I show you how to download the files and, and I'm gonna show you where I got this, um, this, this, um, this kind of like this Gothic um, neoclassic type of um, church um, uh, painting here. So um, here's what I'd like for you to do. If you could please go pull up this uh, module two instructions with it. And it's this link right here where it says uh, HTTP A frame. It's all the FAQ questions. Control, uh, copy it and just grab, um, just grab one of the um, tab that you have on here and paste that in here. And if you can find the FAQ section on the left, FAQ, and if you um, could click on that and and where can you find my assets? Where does my assets videos and uh, hang on for a second, FAQ, um, I lost it here, hang on. There, let me scroll down here, just keep on going, keep on going, right here. Where can I find my assets um, with this? Well, what we're looking for are 360 images of the equa rectangular images with this right here. This is the link right here on here with it. Um, if you can just uh, right mouse click on it and open with another tab. And this is the, um, this is where all these images that you can download from with it as well. So in this here, um, there are about 28,132 as of today. There will be more. And you can search, I don't know how you want to do this, but you can search in your field what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a particular, uh, make sure it says equa, equa, I can't pronounce that word. Um, it's kind of like equilateral, but, but I, it's easier to say equilateral, but this is equa rectangular uh, with it. And you can put in the word um, church or, you know, anything that has, um, something like this with it um you could you could do i grab one of the photos here. i i don't know i don't know what 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 how i came up with the other ones with this well but let's say something in a room all right i don't know what it is with it but uh pick a, a photo that you can live with for the next eight weeks or six weeks wherever long this course is um let's say i grab this photo right here this this one right here um i click on it and you could see how I can go in and see what this 3D view looks like with it as well, right? And you're welcome to, uh, by no means, this is not, um, not, not any ways to do a church, but I just like the church uh, 3D view of a lot of these Gothic church that they have here with it as well. So you can scroll around and kind of picture yourself how this all works with it, with it as well. So. Uh, beautiful, beautiful church with it. What we're going to do is we're going to place that object um, in this room. So those uh, those three um, those those containers or those things that you look at, you can actually um, place them. We're going to place the plane, the sphere, the circle, uh, the, the sphere, the cylinder, and the cube, maybe on this floor right here with it. All right. And that's what I want you to do is uh, I show you kind of uh, how you want to play with that a little bit. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to do it for you. I want you to play and do it on your own with it as well. So um, I want you to be comfortable with the uh, this this model right here. Remember, this is the X going positive, Y going positive, Z going towards you is positive. So picture this uh, position and how you can move things and place it around. So I kind of did this in uh, the setting that I did with it. I, I want you to do it on, on your own assignment with it as well. So um, let's say you decide to do this right here, right? And we need to download this right here with it. So uh, let me move this out of the way here. And at the bottom right, you will see a down arrow with a with a line, horizontal line across with it. 
you can do that and see how it pops up. I always like to download the original, the huge files with it, but it's compressed. Original uh, 7296 36 40 by 48 with it. I always like to use, it gives you a little bit more clarity with it, so you can click on that, download that with it as well with it. All right, here it is with it. So copy this, this is in your My Download folder from my browser with it. I need to copy this, all right, to my module to folder with it but more important we need to upload this file from the download to um, your asset here okay so this is here is where I got this from with it as well so imagine that file that I just downloaded came from here with it as well so again um, I just grabbed something very random and here we are with it as well so let me check the times So um, that's where you get the asset files for the Equa Rectangular Rectangle um, um, screenshots with this. So again, you go through the upload process and you navigate where you extract that file and you upload it with it as well. Um, so you saw how we copy the URL it has to be through the HTTPS pathway to connect to it as well. So this is what we need to do here is to bring this 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 sky or this box that we're going to actually to bring in is the a sky with it and let me show you how where we're going to how we use the a frame for this as well so um <coughs> excuse me so i'm going to come over to the web um, uh, vr with a um, you know the box that you we were at with it right and i want to come in here and kind of like find um i need to do the um what's that uh the the um, gosh, I can't think of um, the the college where uh, where all the components are, are listed with it. So you're in here right now with it, and I like for you to you can click on any one of these. We need to just go to the documentations with it. So if I click on Get Start on the upper left, if I just go in and type in Sky. All right, <coughs> hit Enter and pulls up the Sky primitives that we're looking at with it and it tells me this is the code that I need to use or if I want a particular background color right that's boring and all the attributes that actually takes place with it so we're going to use this framework that we have right here with it so we got to put this inside of between the scene this is the scene the closing of the scene so the part that I need to actually copy is the asset from here all the way down to sky you see that let me zoom in here with this well so it helps you to see what I'm looking looking at with it so that's the part that I I need to copy uh, to in here with it how do I get to a dash sky I type in sky that's what I did the word sky and brought me here okay so if I did sky and it automatically I hit enter and this is where it took me and the part that I need to copy is this part right here yeah okay so that's that's the sky part with it, and there's a little bit more to this, but it gives you the the basic. Um, <coughs> we did, excuse me, choking here, allergies here, folks. <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna copy. Jump back to your asset file uh, over here in your index with it, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, since we, we got a sky here with it with the. With the with the uh, sky tags and everything with it, um, I, I I need to take that out. So I always like to put the sky above everything else with it. All right, and this part right here, right, we're here. I want to insert in the um, the sky uh, the the asset file. So Control V, paste it. Let me fix this a little bit. Adjust it, tab it in. Um, get everything aligned. Okay, so the part that um, um, so the part that I want to focus is this part again. Everything's closing tag. I just want to drop this down here and, and make this a part of part of looking like that with this. Well, so this is the asset as we looked at. The asset is this part right here. Is inside the scene, the A scene. 
So if you look on the top is the A seam here and the closing of the A seam. So right here <coughs> is the asset and the <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to modify this in a second. You can leave that's the sky um, ID. That's fine. Leave. Um, so if you recall an ID in the uh, in HTML, this guy right here, this is the name that you give it. All right. So uh, whatever you give this guy, this sky, if you, it's an ID, it has to start with a pound sign and then the sky. So it's the source is referring to the asset is this right here. So we're bringing in the asset is here, and we and we are going to tell the source what the source is. So we need to take out the sky PNG. That's not going to work there, right? So, <clears throat> so here's what I need to do. The first thing we need to do is come over to the asset and click on your sky. This is my sky, and I'm gonna again click on it. Control A, copy, close that out. Come back to your index. Click between the quotation. Control V, paste it. Right. <clears throat> As you can see, it, it comes through already, which is just fine with it. It's okay with it, um, and that's what I want to bring in is the sky, and, and you can see the sky is here. Yeah, okay. So you can see where the sky uh, lands right here with it. Well, um, guess what your task is. Your task basically needs to. Uh, you need to bring in, you, you need to come in and bring this to the floor. Bring these four, I need for you to adjust the box, this box, the sphere, the cylinder, the plane. I need you to put on the floor somewhere in the center here, okay? And you need to adjust the X, Y, Z positions, and if you want to rotate, you're welcome to. But I need it to be on the floor like I have on my demo at the beginning. So you need to move those those cluster of, of objects here. Cool? Yeah. So um, this will conclude the, the 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 that's your assignment with it. Once you've done that, I need for you to take a screenshot of this. You're welcome to use any church, by the way. It doesn't have to be a church. I just need it to be some sort of um, uh, um, equa rectangular uh, photo and the purpose of this exercise is for you to be comfortable and navigate and move things around texture, uh, your, your, your elements and move your elements with it as well. Those are the two things I really want you to get out of this, this exercise and be comfortable between toggle and between um, the uh, the the uh, the movement on the code with it as well. X Y Z. Okay, remember this. Okay, that's it, folks. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.